Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, and welcome to my Sunday story. Man, this one's coming from um, Bronx, New York. I'm about to catch a, a, my plane back to Atlanta, and I'm over here by Yankee Stadium. Now, this is not where I grew up. I actually grew up, was born and raised on in the Bronx, but on 233rd and White Plains Road, like toward the end of the number two line, for those of you who are from here. And, you know, I just, I came up here for my grandma's 98th birthday. She had a huge party yesterday here in, uh, over in City Island. And, you know, I just can't help but be nostalgic. And I just wanted to, I was like, well, let me share my Sunday story from where I grew up. You know, I'm, I've known I've wanted to do what I'm doing for as long as I can remember. I am I feel blessed that I was a kid who knew I wanted to be an actor ever since I was little. I wanted to be a performer, I wanted to sing, I wanted to dance. And what I wanted to share with you today was my, the thing that always reminds me of that. When I was little, like, I don't know, old enough to walk to the store on my own, which in New York, that can be pretty young. Um, like, maybe like 10, Maybe like 10 or 11, no younger than that. I want to say like 9 or 10. Ooh, my eyes are tearing up, not because I'm crying, it's just cold. <laughs> and I would go to the little beauty supply store. My mom had given me allowance or whatever. And I would go to the beauty supply store. And for those of my little, my little girls who would go to the beauty supply store, they sell like this big, they sell like this big braid in, um, in a bag. The braid is like it's like it's a synthetic braid it must cost like a dollar <laughs> and it's just big braid long big braid and i had no intentions of like doing any cornrows or anything like that but i would just buy the big braid with my allowance and then i would like make a ponytail with my hair and pin like pin the big braid to my little ponytail so it'd be like my little afro it wasn't really afro my mom straightened my hair but it would be like my straight hair and then like this poofy random braid I didn't, care what, I didn't care what color it actually was and so i would i would do that and then i would go in my room and talk to myself and perform and hold concerts and shows and i would fling that hair like i was like diana ross or something and i would just always visualize myself on stage i would visualize myself in front of the camera thousands of fans cheering me on but something about that braid I don't know what it was I guess it made me feel glamorous in the age of Diana Ross and I never forgot that and I used to do that for years now I don't do that anymore with big braids but of course I have wigs and fun things like that but I mentioned that today because I'm so nostalgic and really moved that I got to see my dreams come to fruition and it started in my mind it started with a 99 cent braid <laughs> And so whenever I see them, it instantly takes me back. And so I just wanted to ask you, like, what is there in your life? What has there been? What has been a moment that has been like, man, I knew at that moment, this is what I wanted to do. Or I knew at that moment, I wanted to at least go for this dream. Now, I know for each and every one of you, the dream looks different. You know what I mean? But if you can't pinpoint that moment, I want you to try and think back because there was a moment train there was a moment where you did made a decision like man I want this and this can actually happen for me no matter how old you are no matter what your background is look I was just a little girl from the Bronx from, with a single mom and the fact that I get to do what I love for a living just um, really humbles me and I'm just in so much gratitude every day and every time I come back to New York even though I don't live here anymore when I come back and see my family and they're like, oh, Christine, I remember when you were little and you used to do X, Y, and Z. I'm just like, God, it happened. That jumbo braid. So what is your jumbo braid? <laughs> what is your jumbo braid? I wanna hear it in the comments. And when was the last time you had a chance to really reflect on what your jumbo braid is in life? And if you haven't taken the time to think about what it could have been, I want you to think about that too, because maybe that's what you need to hold on to when the times get rough, when the auditions slow down, when you get a lot of no's and you haven't gotten a yes in a while. Think about what your jumbo braid is and hold on to it. All right? Well, I'm going to get going. I need to call my, my Uber. <laughs> and that lady like, I'm going to call an Uber. And you're like, call an Uber. <laughs> See you next time. Peace.